Numbers chapter 3. Now these are the records of Aaron and Moses, when the Lord spoke with Moses on Mount Sinai, and these are the names of the sons of Aaron, Nadab the firstborn, and Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. These are the names of the sons of Aaron, the anointest priests, whom he consecrated to minister as priests. Nadab and Abihu had died before the Lord when they offered profane fire before the Lord in the wilderness of Sinai, and they had no children. So Eleazar and Ithamar ministered as priests in the presence of Aaron, their father. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Bring the tribe of Levi near and present them before Aaron the priest, that they may serve him, and they shall attend to his needs and the needs of the congregation before the tabernacle of, to do the work of the tabernacle. Also, they shall attend to all the furnishings of the tabernacle of meeting and to the needs of the children of Israel to do the work of the tabernacle. And you shall give the Levites to Aaron and his sons. They are given entirely to him from among the children of Israel. So you shall appoint Aaron and his sons, and they shall attend to their priesthood. But the outsider who comes near shall be put to death. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Now behold, I myself have taken the Levites from among the children of Israel instead of every firstborn who opens the womb among the children of Israel. Therefore, the Levites shall be mine, because all the firstborn are mine. On the day that I struck all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, I sanctified to myself all the firstborn in Israel, both man and beast. They shall be mine, I am the Lord. Then the Lord spoke to Moses in the wilderness of Sinai, saying, Number the children of Levi by their father's houses, by their families. You shall number every male from a month old and above. So Moses numbered them according to the word of the Lord, as he was commanded. These were the sons of Levi by their names, Gershon, Kohath, and Merari. And these are the names of the sons of Gershon by their families, Libni and Shimei. And the sons of Kohath by their families, Amram, Izar, Hebron, and Uzziel. And the sons of Merari by their families, Mali and Mushai. These are the families of the Levites by their father's houses. From Gershon came the family of the Libnites and the family of the Shimites. These were the families of the Gershonites. Those who were numbered according to the number of all the males from a month old and above, of those who were numbered, there were 7,500. The families of the Gershonites were to camp behind the tabernacle westward, and the leader of the father's house of the Gershonites was Eliasaph, the son of Lael. The duties of the children of Gershon in the tabernacle meeting included the tabernacle, the tent with its covering, the screen for the door of the tabernacle of meeting, the screen for the door of the court, the hangings of the court, which are around the tabernacle and the altar, and their cords, according to all the work relating to them. From Kohath came the family of the Amramites and the family of the Izharites, the family of the Hebronites and the family of the Uzielites. These were the families of the Kohathites. According to the number of the males from a month old and above, there were 8,600 keeping charge of the sanctuary. The families of the children of Kohath were to camp on the south side of the tabernacle, and the leader of the father's house of the families of the Kohathites was Elizaphan, the son of Uziel. Their duties included the ark, the table, the lampstand, the altars, the utensils of the sanctuary with which they ministered, the screen, and all the work relating to them, and Eleazar, the son of Aaron the priest, was to be chief over the leaders of the Levites with oversight of those who kept charge of the sanctuary. From Merari came the family of the Malites and the family of the Mushites. These were the families of Merari, and those who were numbered according to the number of all the males from a month old and above were 6,200. The leader of the father's house of the families of Merari was Zuriel, the son of Abihel. These were to camp on the north side of the tabernacle, and the appointed duty of the children of Merari included the boards of the tabernacle, its bars, its pillars, its sockets, its utensils, all the work relating to them, and the pillars of the court all around, with their sockets, their pegs, and their cords. Moreover, those who were to camp before the tabernacle in the east, before the tabernacle of meeting, were Moses, Aaron, and his sons, keeping the charge of the sanctuary to meet the needs of the children of Israel. But the outsider who came near was to be put to death. All who were numbered of the Levites, whom Moses and Aaron numbered at the commandment of the Lord, by their families, all the males from a month old and above, were 22,000. Then the Lord said to Moses, Number all the firstborn males of the children of Israel from a month old and above, and take the number of their names, and you shall take the Levites for me. I am the Lord, instead of all the firstborn among the children of Israel, and the livestock of the Levites, instead of all the livestock among the livestock of the children of Israel. 
So Moses numbered all the firstborn among the children of Israel as the Lord commanded him and all the firstborn males according to the number of names from a month old and above of those who were numbered of them were 22,273. Then the Lord spoke to Moses saying, take the Levites instead of all the firstborn among the children of Israel and the livestock of the Levites instead of their livestock, the Levites shall be mine, I am the Lord. And for the redemption of the 273 of the firstborn of the children of Israel, who are more than the number of the Levites, you shall take five shekels for each one individually. You shall take them in the currency of the shekel of the sanctuary, the shekel of 20 geras, and you shall give the money with which the excess number of them is redeemed to Aaron and his sons. So Moses took the redemption money from those who were over and above those who were redeemed by the Levites. From the firstborn of the children of Israel, he took the money, 1,365 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary. And Moses gave the redemption money to Aaron and his sons, according to the word of the Lord, as the Lord commanded Moses.